Hello and welcome to the 16th video in this file systems video tutorial series. Uh, my name is David from Thorn Web Design. Um, so over the past 15 uh, videos we've been talking about um, how to make, create, rename, delete, move and so on um, directories. Also then opening files, reading to them, reading byte by byte by byte, um, line by line and etc. Now what we haven't done at the moment is learn how to then read directories as such to read their, their contents, be it files, other subdirectories and subdirectories of subdirectories and so on. Now it's much the same as reading files because we've got to loop through a, a bit at a time. There's already other functions which we can use that just give you a, a, an array uh, and so on. So this one I want to kind of get to the heart of it um, rather than w using some other functions which are available I want to talk about the directory object first of all okay so let's go over to the the PHP manual and you'll see then that the directory class itself and the first thing it says here is instances of directory are created by calling the dir function not by the new operator well Okay, fine. We will we will obviously do it with the DIR, but let's talk about um, how you can do it with the new operator first of all, because you'll you'll start to realise how much extra coding you have to, having to do and how many extra checks you're having to do, whereas implicitly inside of the directory the in inside of the directory function or the DIR function, it's doing it for you anyway. Okay, so let's just make a um, a variable of handle and we'll say new directory actually that's um, probably the wrong word to use for now because it's not let's just say dir objects okay so we've got a new directory now I'm going to show you the example using the dir function after this okay so now to look at what properties it has if we just use NetBeans, um, we can see here that it has two properties of handle and path and then three methods of close, read and rewind. Now each of them take a directory handle as an argument, as an optional argument. Now as long as we have set the resource handle, okay, then we don't need to add it here. Now it, there's a little bit of redundancy in this because we have to manually set the path and so on and we'll just set it to the current directory at the moment remember we learnt previously that the, the single dot means the current directory and the double dot means its parent directory and just adding a forward slash at the end um, essentially says um, go to this directory and then forward slash saying it's say, saying it's the current directory okay now for us to be able to scan this one directory we need a directory handle just as before we needed to have a file handle file pointer to then read that one file uh, now there's no uh, writing to a directory really because not like a file where you open the file handle up as long as you have the permissions to write files inside of a directory then you can just use then f open and so on anyway okay and making directories you would just use make directory or mkdir um, if you had the correct per permissions on the parent directory um, so how can we make the handle Whoops. how can we make the handle well there's another function which you can use is then open dir okay, which will then open that path and then return a directory handle you start starting to see now all this additional code that we need to write and the additional checks that we need to do prior to setting the handle. Now in this case we're not going to do any kind of if statements we're just going to know it works. Um, so we would then give the path to that um, to open DIR. Okay so we're using a little bit over complicated um, example here but this is why I want to do it to show you how we can do it in the other case okay so we're going to loop through now this one directory handle reading all of the the contents of the directory be it files or um, other subdirectories so in a while loop we're going to say with another set of open brackets we're going to say then d 
dir, or we'll say entry, equals then dir objects, and we're going to use then the read method without the file handle. Now, as long as this returns um, anything but not anything that's not um, boolean false, then we know that it's kind of okay. So we're going to say as long as this is not equal to false, then we know that that's a proper entry. Okay, so we can say echo entry. We'll just put it to a new line. And now remember the most important thing, um, what we learned with the file handles, is that when you open a file handle, you close the file handle. Now, as we saw, the directory object comes also with a close method as well. So we're going to close the directory handle um, before we finish using it and we execute the code. So if we now uh, run this code in the browser, we'll see that we get a full listing of all of the files uh, inside of that one directory. Most importantly, the double dot and then the single dot as well. The current directory handle or the, the marker, should we call it, and then the double dot is then the parent directory um, marker, which you can move back. It's like a reference. Um, we, now, we also know that test is a folder and YouTube new is a folder and obviously we see all of the extensions here which technically speaking um, on Linux you don't need a file extension they're just good for reference so we kind of know implicitly that they are actual uh, files now we already learned how to check if a directory is a directory by using the is underscore dir and for the sake of purposes of people that maybe haven't seen it then we just say is dir and we can say entry and we could also then just output is uh, directory okay and then it will just go to um, the next line so let's do this again and you can see here that is directory double dot Pragmatch is not, that one's not, that one's not, that one's not, but um, YouTube underscore new is a directory, and then test is a directory, and the single dot is a directory. So you can see there, and uh, maybe if we just uh, to do this as well, say um, is file, okay? So rather than testing if it's a directory, we can test if it's a file, and then come here and s then say echo is file nice and simple let's refresh it got is file is directory is file whatever there you can see so now you can um, do some rudimentary testing um, through the the directory itself if something is a directory or is a file then you can move on there are some other functions which you could do but they're not really pertinent to the directory objects um, to see whether something's executable, whether something's writable, and so on. Um, but if you go onto the PHP uh, manual and start looking for the is underscore functions, you'll see a, a lot more of them. Um, that's essentially the long method of doing this bit. This kind of is the same thing if we get rid of this and we just say um, dir object equals dir and then we just pass in then the, the path. That does exactly the same thing as the three lines or four lines which we wrote before. Now the manual says that you don't use the directory object with the new operator, you use the dir function. So this is going to return a directory object for you which you can then use further on down. So you know that when you do give the argument and you then execute this one function it's going to get the handle, it's going to check if it's a directory, it's going to return all the, rele the relevant information. Okay, So let's just save it, come here again and you see exactly the same code is outputted. Why write more code than you don't have to? Okay, Now, if we then put an L there, so it, it doesn't work, we obviously no need to know that we check as well if it is an actual um, instance of a directory of it, object as such. Now, we could just turn around and say, is uh, if directory or 
dir underscore object you know what I mean whoops let's get the whole thing just to know that we are checking that everything's all okay then at least check that we do have a proper f um, directory handle before we start looping and calling methods uh, on a non-object so let's just come back here again fail to open directory no such file and so on so we can see that we're still getting um, an error or, or because of this okay now if we come to the manual how could you overcome this? We we'll see whether there's anything else that you can overcome it by. Returns an ints or null with wrong parameters or false in any other case. Okay, so it can be suppressed by putting the at sign before it. That naturally then uh, will stop that one warning because as you saw here, it was just a warning and it wasn't um, an error. Therefore, um, to catch the exception it's not an exception it's just a warning okay now as long as you've got display errors turned off um, in your PHP any file uh, then you wouldn't get this anyway but if you did want to then suppress um, that one warning if you knew that it possibly couldn't be a directory but essentially before you call this the best thing for you to do is then say is directory to actually test what your um, trying to open is a directory anyway which would then um, circumvent having to um, uh, did I get the right one there yes uh, oh no I want this one there we go did I just delete one of these I did didn't I Where's the while loop? Okay, I'll move that one across. So it was fine. Just to stop any confusion, that was okay. All right, so we're testing is directory first of all before we get an error. So as long as we put an L there and an L there, which would cause a problem, we should never get here. And you see, we don't get any warnings. And we then um, come here, and echo is not a directory okay so we should see this output is not a directory there we go all right so now we don't have to use any suppression on that one function we know that we've done a full test to see whether we should a in actual fact be opening th um, that directory up for a directory object we only really want variables where we know damn certain we are going to get what we're expecting because there's other worker functions such as is underscore dir to actually check hey is this going to give us a real handle because we don't want to know that this could be maybe um, a directory object we want to know damn certain yes it is and I can read it now on that note you could then turn around and use then is readable or is executable uh, as such in this case it would be executable because a directory has to be executable for you to go into it okay um, so that's basically it um, this is the the long and short this is the hardest part of about of reading a directory now there are there is another alternative way to do it without using the directory object which I'm going to talk about in the next video tutorial but I find personally that this is the easiest long way to do it there's a far quicker short way to do it as well which is even quicker than the next video tutorial as well um, but I'm going to show you the two longer methods first of all to understand uh, about it okay thank you very much for watching um, I'll see you in the next video um, thumbs up if you liked it like me if you're on Facebook and um, subscribe if you like the channel first of all and uh, share comment if you have any feedback um, which you think others should see I need to read and so on I always take positive and negative feedback as good feedback okay um, thanks guys um, girls and so on um, thank you for watching bye